Feeling great, you know. I'm happy to be here. Um, you know, you, you and your pops, uh, you guys are a duo, man. You know, you guys are a duo. A lot of people don't just see your dad, but they don't know like how instrumental he's been in your career from the beginning till now. Just just elaborate a little bit on that and the importance of that. Yeah, you know, uh, my dad has been here since since day one, since literally my first day in the gym. You know, my dad has been been here every step of the way, and uh, that's why you know I, I trust in him and I believe in him and. Uh, that's why we got this part. Yeah. Um, Pops, um, how proud of you of Devin and, and just everything he's done and how he's led up to this particular point in his career and just how the way he's been handling things? Well, I'm extremely proud of Devin. I mean, not only is he a great athlete, but he's a great person. And I'm, I'm most proud with him being a great person. So, you know, I'm just... He's a proud dad. No, I'm, I'm a proud dad, for real. He's a, he's a, um, a dad's... Uh, a dad's son. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, now, Devin, you started a new company, uh, a CBD company. Uh, I want to talk about that first before we dive into this boxing stuff. Talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, me and my dad, we, you know, we came together and we, we started a CBD company. It's called Weeding Him. Um, you know, you guys have been seeing me post it on my social media. And uh, the, the, the results are, are real. You know, I, I, everything that, that I've been saying about it has, has been 100%. And uh, it, it's the new wave. You know, it's, it's pretty soon everybody is going to be on the CBD wave. And uh, I'm, 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 the, I'm the first, you know, one that's, that's, that's bringing it to you guys. And you guys need to get on it, you know, mm -hmm. ASAP. Now, um, I've always been seeing Devin Haney promotions. Um, talk to me a little bit about that and uh, the development of that and uh, just building him as an individual brand even though you have great partnerships across the board. Um, how did that come about and what is the future of, of Haney Promotions? Well, Devin has always been a pioneer. I mean, uh, he came to me early on and he said he wanted to post his videos and he wanted to post his barn and post all the stuff. Um, you know, he's always been into promoting himself and promoting the things that he's that he's passionate about, whether it's philanthropy or now his, his CBD company, which is uh, an energy and recovery company that you know that helps helps fighters uh, recover from a lot of the aches and pains that they they go through. So, like I said, he's always been a pioneer. He's on the forefront of it. The, the Devin Haney Promotions brand uh, came about because of, of Devin not necessarily wanting to uh him wanting to be in control of his his destiny yeah and and make the big fights happen and not be uh, a subject to uh, another person's decision when he was ultimately when he ultimately would be ready mm -hmm. uh devin a lot of people have been dodging you for a little while uh now it seems like they can't keep their name your name out of their mouths um what is it that's happened in the last several months uh, obviously, you became a champion, but now everybody wants to talk about you. Want to say your name? They want to talk about you, but I don't see nobody saying, "All right, here, let's fight now. Let's do this." Then, what, what, what is going on in the atmosphere in your world that you think that is causing this? Well, you know, cloud chasing is a thing these days, <laughs> <laughs> and these guys seem to seem to do a lot of it. Yeah. But you know, it's, it's it's part of it. I knew that you know one day this moment would come. Yeah. And uh, you know, I'm just gonna keep on winning, and uh, you know, and, and 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 trying to make these these big fights happen in 2020. Uh, you know, um, I want to make the, the the biggest fights possible. Um, no matter no matter who it is, if it's a big fight, I want it, and uh, hopefully we can make it happen. Are you? How many times are you trying to fight this year? And um, and do you have your eye on particular guys, or are you just taking whoever they got lined up for you? Because I know I know you have desires to unify and be the undisputed guy for sure. But you know, we're, you know, we one step at a time, obviously. So what, what what where do you have your eye on right now? Well, I'm looking to fight, you know, two to three times uh, uh, this year. But I want to make it to I want to you know make the fights you know make sense. Yeah. And uh, you know, I trust in my team. I got a great team behind me, and uh, it's really whoever they put in front of me. But I definitely want to make the the biggest ones happen. Now. Um, why, why, um, why match room? Why, uh, why the zone? Why, why was that the best situation for you guys? Well, I mean, match room and Eddie, they came in at a perfect time. Uh, they, they bought into the concept that Devin is a boss. Mm -hmm. That Devin is able to make the decisions that he's making, even at the young age that he that he is. Yes. Um, a lot of the other promoters, well, I, I, I believe that they would have give, given Devin the exposure yes. that he needed, but they wouldn't have given the leverage uh, from a business standpoint mm -hmm. that he now has mm -hmm. as, a, as not only just a world champion, but also as a promoter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Dev, let's talk, let's, let's clear the air on this little thing with Ryan, okay? So, 
You and Ryan go back how how long? How old how old were you guys when you guys first started running into each other? Me and Ryan first fought when we were probably like eleven to twelve years old. Yeah, maybe younger, maybe ten to eleven years okay. old. We fought in a tournament, and this was the Junior Golden Gloves, like yeah. a long time ago. And and how many times have you guys fought? We fought six times. I won three. He won three. Okay, so we definitely got a tiebreaker that's gonna have to take place eventually. Um, do you? How how long do you expect yourself to stay at your weight? And then this is for you too, pops. And and how soon are we gonna start moving up if if unifications are, are not possible uh, for him soon? You go ahead. Man. Well, uh, I'm willing to stay at 135 as long as you know I can make the big fights happen. Yes. If I if I can't, then I move up to 140. And and if they won't fight me at 147, I'm I'm in 140. I move up to 147. Mm. You know? Are you are you are you what do you what do you think what do you think about that? Because I know you gotta like I know he's very ambitious and he's ready he's ready. I know he's ready and he wants to take on everybody. How how do you keep him? Say all right, let's 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 flow like this. Let's do that. Let's do it like this. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah. I can't. Yeah, I can't. He, you know just, what I mean? He's just ready to go. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. I mean, the experience that he has. I mean, he, we we we're in um, we're in camp with some of the some of the welter welterweights. We've got uh, we're in Americans camp for um, Crawford. We we're in Jesse Vargas camp for Broner. You know what I mean? Um, He's he plenty of quarter camps. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, plenty of quarter camps. So I mean, we obviously have our ambitions for Devin to move up to 147 pounds. Yeah. You know where where the division is stacked. Yeah. Um, 135. Although the division is hot, we're not getting the calls and the buzzes that we would we would like. So yeah. um, Devin is very ambitious, and you know I don't I don't see him not after after respectfully after what I saw with Garcia, Danny Garcia, yeah. and I mean I think Devin could have. Did his thing that night. Easily, 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 right? easily. easily. Right. Okay. Um, do you? Um, how do you balance him? Because he trains and he trains every day, damn near every day. I watch. I watch his stuff all the time. Um, how do you keep him balanced where he's uh, he's not overtraining, um, but he's not also getting comfortable? Well, it's one of those things that I watched that resonated with me. That that Devin and Kobe is that Devin isn't actually working. He's doing something that he loves to do. So it's kind of hard to, to, to separate him from that. But I think as a, as a father, I've always tried to keep to protect him from, you know, things, the injuries and the stuff that happens when you overtrain. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, it's just like he, it's, he does it because he, he loves to do it. He's been doing it for so long, and I think it's just ultimately falls on, on him. Mm. Now, I'm sitting here with Dev, and uh, Dev is live tweeting right now, guys. So, uh, <laughs> so there's a live tweet that's about to go out in about two, three minutes. And I'm definitely, I definitely know it's some serious shit. But um, are you, what, what, are you, this fight Thursday, is the fight, is the fight Thursday, the zone card's Thursday, Thursday. Um, who do you have winning and, um, in the Super Bowl? Who do you got winning the Super Bowl? Okay, um, I'm going with Andre. Uh, I don't really kn know too much about his opponent, yeah. to be honest. So uh, I gotta go with Andre. He's a friend of mine, somebody who I trained alongside with. Um, what about Tevin? Now that's the fight that I really want to see. Yeah. Tevin and Jojo Diaz. Yeah. That's a they, it's a lot of bad blood there. It's a grudge, grudge match. Yeah. Um, it's a toss up. Uh, any one of those guys can win, but I'm going. I'm rocking with my boy Tevin on that one. For sure, for sure. And then now you gotta pick your Super Bowl pick. Uh, I got to go with the home team. You know, me being born in San Francisco, raised in Oakland, I got to go with the home team, the 49ers. Well, of course, I knew that. I knew you were going to say 49ers, too. Oh, um, I'm looking forward to um, watching your career develop, Dev. Um, I think you're one of the top guys uh, in the last 10 years to come into boxing. I'm dead serious about this because your progression has been phenomenal, your skill sets are phenomenal, and you're very humble, and you just you know what you're trying to get out of this. So I'm extremely excited to watch your career, and uh, I cannot wait to see what you do this year and going forward. All right, Thank checking you. out, yes, love. You. you already know? Always love. love. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah. What was, your, what was your tweet? What was your tweet? What's up, sports fans? Breon Page here with Fanatics View. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. If you enjoyed watching and you want to see more content, subscribe down below.